Hello, and welcome to another video. Now, what am I doing in this video? Well, I'm ranking TF2 maps. That's, that's it, that's the basis of this video. We're ranking TF2 maps based on uh, my personal opinions of them. So I went on Tier Maker and I found the official TF2 maps 2019 Tier Maker list. All 79 maps, non-seasonal, and it was updated as of April 2019. And as you know, TF2 don't get upgrades. This is, this is the official map pool. Um, this is kind of related to a video that will be releasing sometime after this one. Not sure when. Got a lot of recordings to do for that one, but I figured I'd do this one first. Let's begin. First map on the list is District. Now this is a pastime map, I believe. And while I haven't really played pastime that much, and that was uh, that was a good map. So District is get it's getting B tier. No, actually it's getting C tier. It's only limited to pastime, so you can't really play it on loads of maps. But it's also kind of styled after. It looks a bit like Conking, sort of. It's kind of like urban styling, so it's it's all right. It's all right. C tier though. I don't think it's uh, eight. I don't think it's the best pastime map personally. And then we have Hellfire, which is manpower, which is the one with the grappling gun and the power-ups. Um, I personally really enjoy that game mode, and I really enjoy playing this map. I think it's the most popular manpower map, if I'm not mistaken. It's the one I usually get put on the most, so we're going to stick that in A tier. It is the best manpower map. I'd love it if there was some sort of uh, CTF or capture point version of this map. I guess manpower kind of is CTF, but just a version of this map without power-ups I think would be very cool. Then we've got Manpower Gorge. Now, um, I haven't actually... I can't remember what Gorge looks like. But I have played it. I have played it. It's not going in the bottom. Ah, oh, yes. Gorge. And there's a Manpower mode of this, which is interesting, to say the least. Um, yeah. Um, not really a fan of this. Uh, probably D tier map for me, personally. I don't like it. I don't vibe with it. It's not, it's not for me. It really ain't for me. Manpower Foundry. Now, this is a better map than Gorge by far, but I don't think it's one of the best manpower maps, but it's definitely one of the better ones. Um, I remember playing it yesterday actually when I was getting footage for the video, and it's it's fun. It's really fun, but there are some places on it which are kind of annoying to um to fight enemies in, in my opinion, of course. Like um it's a it's an alright map. I mean, then we've got Thunder Mountain manpower. I think this is the second best manpower map in my opinion right after hellfire firstly i love the i love thunder mountain great map many memories playing on that map so it's always gonna have a special place in my heart manpower makes it a lot more fun with the power-ups and grappling and the new places you can access in that map it's sick so manpower thunder mountain's getting b tier for me sd doomsday that's another a tier map right there it's the only map in the special is it special delivery yes it's the only special delivery map in current rotation i don't think we'll get any more special delivery maps i mean you could hope but yeah it's kind of just like a version of capture the flag with one flag and then an objective you gotta do so i i like it yes i've got good memories on that map as well um one of the youtubers who got me into tf2 yogscast nalzi always played on doomsday so i just have many memories of of him playing that map and then me playing the map and getting found like cool little sniper spots and stuff when i uh, played sniper a lot i really enjoyed doomsday so it's getting an A tier from me. Watergate. Ah, the infamous we are in the beam map. Mm. We are in the beam. I think this is a B tier, you know. I think it's a solid map, honestly. I know many people will probably disagree with me, but I really like Watergate. It's actually really fun collecting all the bottles to give to the aliens. Part of one of my favourite updates of all time, Invasion. Yes, please. That's getting a B tier just from that alone. And then the map itself is very... It's very good. It's got loads of different like verticality to explore, places you can build sentry guns, which people won't expect. And yeah, it's just really fun. Snowplow. Um, I don't really, I don't really care about snowplow. Like, it's not a bad map. It's it's a good map, and it's got some good um, environments for like posters and stuff. But I don't really play it a lot. Like, it's not a map I go out of my way to play. I mean, I'll play it if I get put on it, but I don't really play it that much. Hydro T C is it T C territory control hydro, the only territory control map. It's an E tier map. I really, I mean, it's not F tier. I don't hate it. I just rarely play it. And when I do, I'm sort of confused about what's going on. I think most people are when they play Hydro. Um, it kind of works better in like TF2 Classic and stuff. But in the current state of TF2, I don't really think Hydro is a good map, personally. It's not an F tier. It, it has its place, but not the best. <laughs> then we go to Probed. Another one of my favorite maps. Now, this is a 
King of the Hill map with a twist. There's an alien spaceship which will suck up anyone on the point and then whoever gets sucked into the point, anyone on Reddit, anyone on Blue, they have to fight in the spaceship and then they leave through the opposite exit and you can get crits. I think that's pretty fun. Also, invasion. Puss it up there immediately. Let's go. Rottenburg. This is an MVM map. Two cities. I've a lot of experience on this. It's B tier. I, I like it. It's it's a good it's a good MVM map. Probably one of the favourites for me personally, but there is one map I think which is better than Rottenburg in my opinion. I do like the vibes, I like the medieval castle vibes. Actually you know what? It's A tier. It's A tier because it goes with the group keep. Both A tier maps. We got the medieval theme. I love that. I wish there was a medieval update. They could make Rottenburg like a a payload map maybe? That would be cool. But yeah, the both medieval themes get A tier from me because I just I just love it. Actually Degroot Keep is exclusive to medieval mode, so that's S tier because medieval mode is fucking fun. They've got two four invasion, automatic S tier, hundred percent S tier. Fucking hell. So you got two four, alright? Already an A tier map. You add space to it, you get an S tier map. That's just how it is. That's just how it is. Wait, where's two four? Yeah, stick that stick that up in here stop stick that up in A tier. 2-4, 2-4 invasion, sick maps, love them. I know 2-4 is like kind of a meme map where you can play forever or you play a really short game. I've had so many good memories on 2-4, I think that's the map I've played the most. And then they added space and it was just amazing. So 2-4 invasion and 2-4 S and A tier respectively. Nightfall, uh, that's Payload Race and Payload Race is actually a pretty cool game mode. I wish it was bigger, I wish I had more maps on Payload Race. Um, that's B tier. I. I do have good memories on the map, but I don't play it much anymore. Um, and I think it's a bit kind of dark for my tastes. I know, <laughs> uh, looking at my S and A tier, there are a few dark maps in there. But I think Nightfall is... Yeah, I don't really like the vibes it gives off. Now Banana Bay on the other hand, that's an A tier map. Payload Race, already epic. It's got a nice tropical theme. It's nice and bright. I love it. I think that's one of the best maps for environments, in my opinion. Um, I do like bright coloured maps, who would have guessed, but um, yeah, I think Banana Bay is really nice, I love the vibes, and it came with Jungle Inferno, which is a great update. And we've got Payload Pipeline, this is similar to Nightfall, too dark, but I've had good memories on it. High Tower, ah yes, the fabled High Tower. What a map. I'm going to stick this, that's might be controversial, in C tier. Now I'm not a trollger, I've never trollgered before, I've never market guarded anyone in my life, believe it or not. And yeah, I just don't really vibe with Hightower. I think Helltower is much better actually, the Halloween version of it, but that's not in this list. But I do think Hightower, it's okay, it's an okay map. It's, it's alright, it's, it's okay. But you're mainly getting market gardened or mini sentried, so... It's fun to push people off, don't get me wrong. Air blasting people off the end is pretty fun and that bumps up to a B tier. Let's go. A uh, payload Thunder Mountain, automatic B tier, along with the manpower mode. I just pumped together. Yeah, look at that. As I said, I like Thunder Mountain. The same reasoning goes for manpower, but it's split up into three different stages, unlike manpower, which is all just one big stage, I believe. It might be two. Enclosure. I love the vibes of this map. Enclosure is huge. It's a huge map and it's got dinosaurs in it, which I vibe with insanely. It's got dinosaurs. It's based off Jurassic Park. Jurassic Park is amazing. I just love it. I just I just love the whole vibes of the map. Barn Blitz, B, B, C tier. It's okay. It's all right. Frontier, C tier, but the payload bumps up to B tier because it's Lil Choo Choo. Who doesn't love Lil Choo Choo? Manworks, C tier, Isai, it's a bit small for my tastes. Snowy Coast, um, that's the one with the control points and the payload, I think, isn't it? Yeah, that's C tier, man. I, I don't really vibe with it that much. Swift Water, i not a fan of Swift Water personally. Sorry, any Swift Water stands out there. Upward, that's an A tier. You get to push, there's those spaces to air blast people off. That's amazing. It's also Upward, it's very iconic. Loads of people love it, and I'm one of them. Gold Rush. It's kind of forgetful. Hoodoo, eh, kind of forgetful. Borneo, A tier. Dachi, S tier. Best payload map there is. 100% best payload map there is. I don't know what it is about it I like. I just love it. Badwater, C, eh, it's a B tier. It's alright. It's okay. It's a good map. It's just an alright map. It's, no, it's a good map. Conking, A, B tier. This is a high B, alright? It's like bordering on A and B, but 
I do like it, I do like the, the whole theme of it, but I don't like it enough for it to be A tier, if that makes any sense. King of the Hill Sawmill, that's a B tier right there. Now Sawmill is a great map, and I'm a big fan, but I think that the Capture the Flag version of it is better than the King of the Hill version of it. Viaduct, I for oh it's the uh, one with the scent, yeah I don't, really f I don't really like that one personally. Manhattan, that's also, that's a B tier. That's a B tier MVM map, personally. Uh, I, it's it's alright, but I don't really vibe with it, you know? King of the Hill Badlands. Uh, which one's that? <laughs> oh, it's that one. That one's a C tier map. You see, I didn't know what it was, but now I'm seeing pictures of it. I know which one it is. And it's okay. High Pass. Oh, fuck. <laughs> I don't know this map. Oh, it's that one. Okay, yeah, that one's a, that one's a D tier map. I ain't know about that. Harvest. Iconic. Uh, I have to be in the specific mood to play Harvest, I think, so I'm going to put it in B tier. If I was in the mood to play it, it'd be A tier, but if I'm not in the mood to play it, which is most of the time, it's in B tier. Lakeside, another Egypt, an Egyptian, we haven't got, we haven't had Egypt yet, have we? No, so this is an Egyptian themed map, and um, you might not know, but I love ancient Egypt and the stuff, the pop culture surrounding it. So for me, that's an A tier map. The Lazarus. That's very cool. That's a very cool map. That's also A tier. I like I like the uh, the scenery and the map building surrounding that map. I think it's really cool. And then you get to the Lazarus Pit at the end. Sick. Brazil. Please come to Brazil, but I will not because it's a D tier map for me. Nucleus. Also a D tier map in my opinion. There are some prime air blasting spots, but you have to be in a good place to do them. And, uh, I'm usually not, so I don't fight with Nucleus. But Sweden, on the other hand, that's A tier, that's a beautiful map. I think that's one of the best looking TF2 maps there is. And there's a lot of fun places for you to air blast people off. In case you haven't realised, that's how I'm ranking a lot of maps. Oh, they're good air blasting places. Freight. Oh, fuck. I, I know what map this is. That's F tier, bro. I don't like freight. I, d I do not like freight one bit. I'm sorry to all you freight stands out there, but I just I just don't vibe with it. You're gone. Oh, this map's cool. Yeah, this map looks cool. Pure on Aesthetics is a B tier map. Uh, Ghost Town, MVM Ghost Town. Now this is the S tier MVM map that I was talking about. I love Ghost Town. Wave 666, very fun. Uh, Vanguard, I, I do not remember this map at all. We might have another F boys. Meh, it's not really F, it's more of an E tier map. It's, it's, that's Cold Front. Eh, Cold Front, it's alright. It's an alright map. I think it's up there with Bomb Blitz personally. It's got some good places for MVM posters and stuff, kind of like Snowplow. But it's a bit better than the Snowplow. CP well. Well, well, well. See what I did there? Oh, this is a right map. I got banned from sniping on... I got kicked for cheating. Cheating on this map. I was just hitting snipes. There's... Uh, it's a C tier map. It's alright. Uh, powerhouse. Boom. A tier. Love the map. Very cool. Good memories of it. I like it. That's all I have to say, really. Uh, stand in. I do not remember this map one bit. That was okay. Not the best, but it's okay. <laughs> Metalworks. Is that MVM? I believe MVM, yeah, Metalworks, C tier, I think. Let me check. Oh no, it's Capture the Flag. Oh no, yeah, Capture the Flag, but it's still C tier. I know which map it is now. Fast Lane. There you go. That's, uh, that's an F tier map right there. I'm only judging this off of pictures, by the way. I feel like if I was actually in the map, actually, looking at the pictures, that's actually not F tier, that's E tier. That's an alright map. It's okay, it's okay. It's not the worst. Foundry, CP Foundry. Nah. I'm not a big fan of Foundry, personally. I know I've put Manpower Foundry up here. Where? Oh, it's, it's up here in C tier, because Manpower lifts it up, but I, I ain't fine with it normally. Snake Water. Let's not remember this one as well. Oh, it's that one. I like that one. That one's like a, a C tier map. Any maps in C tier and above, I'll happily play. That's just how it is. I mean, I'd happily play Nucleus, but it's not, it's not moving up a bit. Uh, Gully Wash. Nah, I don't really like that one. Uh, decoy. That's an alright MVM map. I'll, I'll give it that. Badlands CP. Eh, it's also alright. Uh, grainy, granary. Eh, it's okay. Could be better. Process. Yes, could be better. Five Gorge. Eh, could be better. Sunshine. That's a nice map. I like that one. Actually, no, I don't. I don't remember which map it is. Turbine. Let's go. CTF Turbine. We love it. I know many people don't like it. Personally, I do. <laughs> It's just fun. Double cross. Yeah, boy. That's an ATM map as well. Let's go. The bridges. Super fun if you're playing Pyro. And if you can sneak around to like the little sniper lookout part on the map. So much fun. CTF well. 
Well, well, well. Uh, that's not my favourite CTF map. I don't think that's. I think that's the lowest ranked CTF map, if I'm not mistaken. That's just how it be. Landfall, banging map. Put that in A tier. Let's go. Cold Town. It's not a right map. Put that in B tier. CTF Sawmill, A tier. Let's go. Sawmill CTF is my favourite sawmill variant and one of my favourite CTF maps of all time. Gravel Pit. That's pretty cool. That's a pretty cool map. Dust Bowl, not worth the hype. Uh, Egypt, A tier, uncontested, up there with Lakeside. Mercenary Park, also A tier, once again. All the Jungle Inferno maps have great scenery outside. They've just got great map building in general. You can definitely tell what was an early map and what was a new map just by the difference in quality, I guess. Um, Moss Rock, that's all right. I, I put that in C tier. That's okay, I'd play that map. Gorge, no thank you. Mountain Lab, yes please, stick that up there in B tier. Let's go. Steel, eh, eh, it's an M map. Junction, that's C tier. I can, I can vibe with some Junction. Big Rock, that's an MVM map, I like that one. Timber Town, that's okay. And Brickyard is an E tier map. Okay, there we go, that is the, this is the official Over the Giant Tree TF2 map ranking 2020. Um, these are all the correct opinions. If you have anything different, you're wrong. <laughs> you're not actually wrong. You're entitled to your own opinion, of course. But this is just how I feel. S tier maps, bang in, best maps in the game. Then you've got A tier, which they're still good. And then B tier, they're a little less good, but they're still good. C tier, they're okay. And then D, E, and F. Eh, I could not play them for a while and not feel any remorse. <laughs> that doesn't mean I hate the maps. If you made these maps, don't take this personally if you're watching this video. It's, it's just a meme. Um, I have played every map in TF2, which is why none are in the never played tier. I'm sort of a I'm sort of a gamer myself. I do feel that these S tier maps are the pinnacle. If Valve made more maps like these, I'd be all for it. But that would require them updating TF2, and they aren't all for that. So, yeah, that is the final rating. If you have enjoyed, be sure to leave a like, subscribe down below if you want. Of course, you're not obliged to. Um, there'll be this, I'll link this tier list down below so you guys can do it yourself. And if you want to tweet me at it, it's at Over the Giant Tree on Twitter. I'll happily uh, make fun of your rankings as well. Anyway, I've been Over the Giant Tree and I shall see you guys in the next video. Peace. And remember, 2 Foot Invasion is, is, is the best map. Hey, oh, uh, uh, I've been up for like two hours. Two hours. Yo, bitch can feel took a few showers. Few showers. I don't buy my just money dance. Yeah. That wristwatch costs a hundred grand.